Onyx has been making e-readers and tablets for over 10 years. They've done everything from 6 inches all the way up to 13.3 and above. What is the above? Well, they've released a pair of monitors called the Mira and the Mira Pro. They're 13.3 inches and 25 inches respectively, and the Mira is available right now. Onyx first dipped their toe into the secondary monitor world with the Max 13.3, that could actually be utilized as a secondary monitor via the HDMI port. They then realized they have the panels, they have the technology, and they simply made the housing and there's the Mira 13.3. It's an incredibly good build quality, has a built-in canvas slash leather folding case. It also has threaded holes at the back, so you can bolt your PC monitor stand right onto it without any sort of alterations or customizations. Let's take a look at the Onyx Mira 13.3. Pushing the button on the side, you can toggle from various settings like contrast, brightness, weight, and even the different modes. However, unfortunately, there is no touchscreen, so don't bother tapping it. For this, you're going to have to use the button on the right. It is a combination of a push down button and an up and down toggle. You'll have to use the button on the left in conjunction with the button on the right. When you push the button on the left, you'll have time to push up and down on the toggle on the right. The square button on the bottom right corner is a very nice looking button, but it doesn't have any functions outside of just refresh. So first we'll have it on normal mode. So this is what it's looking like when you're browsing websites. So this is the Goody Reader website. You can see my mouse is moving a decent amount of speed. Now this isn't bad considering this is the full or I guess the second best image quality mode. The best image quality mode would be slideshow mode and we'll show you that in a little bit. But this one is going to be what browsing is going to look like. You can navigate over to YouTube and stuff like that. We will show you a YouTube video in video mode appropriately in a minute. But this is the Goody Reader website. You can click on something. Obviously all the loading is going to depend on your internet connection. It has nothing to do with the device itself. You can see pictures show okay it's a little bit fuzzy because they try to speed the device up by making the resolution a little bit lower and a little bit more grainy you also see a great deal of staining in the background but that is to allow you to move as quick as it does and to be honest the 13.3 moving this quick is fairly impressive in its normal mode Text mode is said to be suitable for typing and text input. Now when you look at the same website in text mode, the pictures itself look absolutely terrible, but the speed has increased pretty drastically. And if we move over Microsoft Word, this one is supposed to be more suited for text. So what we're going to do is choose a bigger font size and start writing just a little bit. While on text mode, the individual text itself looks fine, but all the surroundings are still very, very stainy. But it is actually pretty quick when it comes to interacting with everything. So you can double tap, you can bring up your little palette here, you can box everything. It's not bad, but I still think that there's not too much use to be in text mode because it's pretty much the same as normal mode and it just ends up looking a little bit worse. Video mode is going to be your X mode. This is going to be the fastest. This is as fast as you're going to find e-ink refresh. I can't understate how quick this actually is. This is a very, very fast experience. You can see everything loads instantly. Nothing's catching up and I am absolutely burning 
through the Goody Reader blog here. You can also head over to your video tab. We have YouTube open and you can play videos on here. But we're going to show you all four modes side by side anyways because you can get an idea of which mode works best for you. Something interesting that the Mira does that no other Onyx product does is it has speed mode but not just regular speed mode. It has speed mode with a toggle of seven different settings. That is a lot of different speed modes outside of the regular four modes that this unit already has. If you turn this unit to video mode with speed at number 7, this is as fast as you're ever going to find an Onyx product. In fact, this is as fast as you're probably ever going to find an e-ink or e-paper product. This is on par with as fast as a Dasung unit. The maneuverability, the fluidness of the videos itself, it's almost as if it's as quick as an LCD LED monitor with very little drawbacks. One of the small drawbacks, of course, is that it's only black and white. But you can see by watching a video, by going in between tabs, by cycling through other things, opening up your Word documents, there's not really too many hindrances. This is actually a very fast experience. Slideshow mode with speed reduced 100% to the very first setting is going to give you the highest quality photos, but the speed is the absolute slowest. So your whites are going to be very white, your images are going to be very high quality, but moving your mouse around the screen is virtually impossible. So unless you're looking at a still image, there's not really too much of a reason to use this slideshow mode, which is labeled as P, because it's just virtually unusable outside of just simply looking at a photo. We can also toggle through the settings until we hit contrast. You can lower the contrast and you can heighten the contrast. And we'll leave this in slideshow mode while we show you all this. You can also turn off and on the glow light. So the moon will be the cold light and the sunshine will be the warm light. And I must say there is a very, very noticeable pink hue to the light rather than it being orange. The glow light is very nice and it illuminates pretty consistently from end to end. This is one of the few 13.3s in the world that actually have a glow light on it. Up until now, Dasung has been the only player in the game that makes secondary monitors. Three generations, in fact. That's it, just Dasung. So in fact, it is very fitting that a company with a track record such as Onyx would only justify making their own line. At the time of this video upload, the Mira Pro is not yet available, but it is right around the corner. For GoodyReader.com, this is Peter.